Happy Friday, everyone. Thanks for joining me for this week's story time with Kathy. Jax decided to come and visit me again. What a great friend that Jax is. Do you have a good friend? I have some really good friends. My best friend and I have been friends since we were in kindergarten, and her husband and I have been friends since we were in high school. We have shared some special times in our lives, like weddings and welcoming new babies to the family. But more importantly, we are there for each other, not only in the happy times, but the sad times and the difficult ones too. Jax tells me that is what friends are for. And you know what? That's the title of our book this week, Jax. That's what friends are for. It is written by Florence Perry Held and Sylvia Van Cleef and illustrated by Holly Mead. Let's listen. Theodore the elephant is sitting in the middle of the forest. He has hurt his leg. What a pity. Today, Theodore was going to meet his cousin at the end of the forest. What can I do, Theodore says. My cousin is at the end of the forest, and here I am in the middle of the forest, and I have a bad leg, and I can't walk. I know what I'll do, Theodore says. I'll ask my friends for advice. That's what friends are for. Along comes Theodore's friend, the bird. Why are you sitting here in the middle of the forest, asks the bird. Because I have a bad leg, and I can't walk, and I can't meet my cousin at the end of the forest, says Theodore. If I had a bad leg, I would fly to the end of the forest, says the bird to Theodore. It's nice of you to give advice, says Theodore to the bird. That's what friends are for, says the bird. Along came Theodore's friend, the Daddy Longlegs. Why are you sitting here in the middle of the forest, asked the Daddy Longlegs. Because I have a bad leg and I can't walk and I can't fly and I can't meet my cousin at the end of the forest, says Theodore. If I had a bad leg, says the Daddy Longlegs, I would walk anyhow because I have seven other legs. It's nice of you to give advice, says Theodore. That's what friends are for, says the Daddy Longlegs. Along comes Theodore's friend, the monkey. Why are you sitting here in the middle of the forest, asked the monkey. Because I have a bad leg and I can't walk and I can't fly and I don't have seven other legs. And I can't meet my cousin at the end of the forest, says Theodore. If I had a bad leg, says the monkey, I would swing by my tail from the trees like this. Well, says Theodore, I may have a weak, very weak tail, but I have a very strong trunk. Theodore grabs the tree with his trunk. says Theodore. Thank you for your advice. That's what friends are for, says the monkey. Along comes Theodore's friend, the crab. Why are you lying down in the middle of the forest, asked the crab. Because I have a bad leg and I can't walk and I can't fly and I don't have seven other legs and I can't swing from the trees by my tail or my trunk and I can't meet my cousin at the end of the forest, says Theodore. If I had a bad leg, says the crab, I would get rid of it and grow another one. It's nice of you to give advice, says Theodore. That's what friends are for, says the crab. Along comes Theodore's friend, the lion. Why are you sitting here in the middle of the forest, asked the lion. Because I have a bad leg, and I can't walk, and I can't fly, and I don't have seven other legs, and I can't swing from the trees by my tail or my trunk, and I can't grow another leg, and I can't meet my cousin at the end of the forest, says Theodore. If I had a bad leg, says the lion, I would roar so loud that everyone would come running to see what was the matter. And he roars. What's all the noise, the possum asks. He is hanging upside down by his tail. Theodore can't fly, says the bird. He can't get to the end of the forest in to see his cousin, says the lion. We are giving him advice, says the crab. That's what friends are for. Nonsense, says the possum. Friends are to help. 
bring the cousin to Theodore. So all the friends go to find Theodore's cousin at the end of the forest, and they bring the cousin to Theodore. Theodore and his cousin and all the friends are having a party. Thank you for helping me, says Theodore to his friends. That's what friends are for, says the friends. To give advice is very nice, but friends can do much more. Friends should always help a friend. That's what friends are for. Wow, what a great book, Jax. We saw kindness, helpfulness, and true friendship in this story, didn't we, Jax? Uh-huh. Yep, he agrees. Well, both Jax and I thank you for joining us this morning. Hopefully, we see you next week. Until we see each other again, remember, Jesus loves you. See you next week. Gage is the video.